A 35-year-old Grave 3 para 2 female has presented to our labour ward. She's complaining of labour pains and she gives the history of passing thick green fluid vaginally. Hello Maria, how are you? Are you having pains? Yes. Okay, I just want to examine you if you don't mind to see what's happening. Okay. So longitudinal lie, expected fetal weight about 3 kgs. She feels like a breech presentation because I can feel the head on top. I'm just going to do a vaginal examination, Maria. I'm cleaning the perineum. Okay. Guys, I think I have a frank breach in labor ward. I need help in labor ward one, please. Maria, your baby is laying with the bums at the bottom. So I need you to work with us so that we can help you deliver the baby safely. Kofi, can you please put up an IV line? Lerato, can you please put in a Foley's catheter to empty the bladder? The perineum feels adequate, so we don't need to do an episiotomy. Okay. IV line is in. Thank you. Lerato, can you empty the bladder? Okay. Thank you. Okay. At this point, Maria, I need you to push with every contraction. At this point, we allow the breach to deliver spontaneously. The legs are stuck, so I'm going to assist Maria in delivering the legs of the baby. We make use of the Pinard's maneuver. I insert my forefinger and my middle finger along the long axis of the femur. I flex the leg at the knee and deliver the leg. I do the same for the anterior leg. I insert two fingers along the long axis of the femur. I flex the leg at the knee. I reach for the ankle and sweep it across the body and deliver the leg. The legs are now out. The back is facing up. At this point, you allow the breech to spontaneously deliver. The good thing is that the back is up. If the back was facing posteriorly, the chin has the risk of locking behind the pubic symphysis. At this point, we can see that the umbilicus is visible. It is important to pull a loop of the umbilicus down. Now the breech is meant to deliver spontaneously up into the scapula. Once the scapula is visible, one palpates to assess the position of the arms. The arms are hyperextended. I have to perform a maneuver whereby I insert two fingers along the long axis of the humerus. I flex the arm at the elbow and I sweep the arm across the chest. I perform the same maneuver for the other arm. Now, the breech should deliver spontaneously until the posterior hairline is visible. Once the posterior hairline is visible, you allow the breech to hang for 30 seconds. This will improve flexion of the head. If the head is still not delivered, one can perform a maneuver called the Madisu Smelly Vites maneuver, whereby the breech will lay on your forearm of your right hand, your middle finger is inserted on the chin of the baby, and your index and ring finger is inserted on the cheek of the baby. Then your left hand is placed on the top of the breech with your middle finger on the occiput and your index and your ring finger on the shoulders. And this will assist in flexion of the head of the breech so that the breech can be delivered over the perineum. We can cut the cord. Lerato, can you please hand baby to the pediatricians?